All right. Shalom, y'all. Sharala. This is the GMS Raleigh, North Carolina account with another collaboration. Do the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shab. I'm Brother Naquam, GMS Mission Successful. Shamar War, GMS Prepare for Glory. All right. Before we begin this lesson, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Bahashem. Rochak Kodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still gather to the highways and byways and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And Shalawam, Labakarium, Wabarakim, Shayar Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, in the name of this lesson that we're going to go into today, through the spirit of Yah by Shimei Hashah, is going to be called, The Words of the Lord is the Bible. You know, the words that we speak according to is this 1611 King James Holy Bible, and we speak the 100% truth uh, according to it. So without further ado, we're going to grab our first precept. Oh, you want the second address? Kind of, yeah. Second address fifteen and one. All right. This is Second Address chapter fifteen, verse one. God. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. God. It said, "Board the word." It says, "Behold," which the word "behold" meaning to look. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Who was that? That that is talking about in that scripture. Thou was talking about the prophets, the men of the Lord that He set up and gave the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to to understand the scriptures and to teach the word. He says, speak thou in the ears of his people. Who was the Lord's people? The Israelites, which consisted of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and the Israelite foreigners, according to the seed of their fathers. You know, the words of prophecy. What's the words of prophecy? This Bible. You know, when we go out there on the highways and hedges and we make these YouTube videos, we speak according to the Bible, which is the, which are the words of prophecy. Because this, this Bible is the only book that has uh, uh, prophecies in it, which means to uh, say something before uh, it has things prophesied in it that, uh, uh, that thousands of years ago that said that was going to happen, and it's happening. You know, you just have to have the understanding and the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah to receive the deep, dark sayings and mysteries of the scriptures. Read on, brother. Which I will put in the mouth of, which I will put in thy mouth. Say right, see, Yahweh Shema Shai gave us the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of Yahweh Shai. It's something that has to be, it's, it's, this is something that has to be given to you by the Lord. This is something that you can't obtain on your own. You know, see, the Lord said He was going to put this in our mouth, man. He was going to put this in our mind for us to go out there on the highways and hedges and make these YouTube videos to speak according to. Read on, brother. And cause them to be written in paper. Right. For they are faithful and true. Right. See, this Bible, this word that we have and that we speak according to and that we believe in strong and firmly, uh, you know, it's faithful and true, man. Because these are the words of the Lord. These are the uh, these words that are written in the book. And this book is given by the inspiration of Yahweh by Shem Shah. You can read that in the book of uh, 2 Timothy, the third chapter, in the 16th verse. You know? But uh, the next precept you can hold is... Um, uh, Matter of fact, you can get that. Get 2 Timothy 3 and 15, Baba Kusha. Yep. Alright, this is 2 Timothy. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. 16. I mean, 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. Exactly. See, all scripture, every word that are written in this Bible. It's given by the inspiration of Yahweh by Shem Shah, meaning Yahweh by Shem Shah put the spirit on them to write these things down uh, in a scroll, and then later on in life it became a book. You know, it is given by the inspiration of Yahweh by Shem Shah. It get it, uh, the inspiration pretty much go into like um, how should I say? It goes into like uh, in encouragement. You know, encouragement or um, or how should I say? Like uh, like a uh, um, like, give me a word that goes with inspiration, Akia. Um, inspiration, um... Like, it's like, it's on the tip of my tongue. It, it, um, it's given by the inspiration. 
when you inspire somebody to do something pretty much like it's like I said encouragement you know yeah motivation yeah motivation yo 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 it's given by the motivation and encouragement of Yahweh by Shema Shah for us to uh for our learning you know read on Baba Kasha this is 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Right. All scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And it's profitable for doctrine. Right. For reproof. That's right. For correction. Right. For instruction in righteousness. Keep going. That the man of the Most High may be perfect. Right. Throughout. I mean, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Exactly. See through faith, man. You know, and this and, and this this Bible, the 1611 King James Holy Bible, you know, is for, is profitable for doctrine, reproof, and correction, and instruction in righteousness, man. You know, this book is the uh, instruction manual on how to govern our lives and to please your high by Shemia Shai. You know, because it was given by the inspiration, you know, of your high by Shemia Shai. The high by Shemia Shai put the spirit on uh, uh, on these um. The, the, these people, or it's like not these people, uh, the um, the certain scribes, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to uh, put this down in paper, man, you know, in the scrolls. And later on, it became a book, you know what I'm saying? It, it all came compatible in one book. And now, all that was given by the inspiration of Yah by Shem Um, Let me see. Can you hold me Isaiah 34 and 16, Baba Kasha? All right. second here let me see yeah because the definition um, of inspiration I forgot I can do this on the phone I can look up stuff while I'm on the phone uh, the definition of inspiration because we was reading the first uh, second Timothy the third chapter right yeah um, inspiration goes into someone or something that gives you ideas for doing something right so who is that someone or that something they gave uh, us ideas to uh, for doing something. Yahabashim Yahusha. So the scriptures that we have uh, that was inspired, which will gives up, gave us ideas for doing something, which is the uh, jot the testimonies down in the, in the scrolls, and then and, and later on it became a book from Yahabashim Yahusha. You know, and inspiration is also sudden good ideas. So it was a good idea. Uh, by Yahweh by Shem Shah to put down the testimonies and the records, you know what I'm saying, in one in one book, man. You know, which is the scriptures, which is this Bible. You know? So alright, Khan, you can go uh, you can read that precept, Baba Kasha. Yeah, I had another one for inspiration too. Oh Khan, 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 bring it up, bring it up. Yeah. <clears throat> it is a divine influence or action on a person's on a person on a person believe mm. to qualify him or her to receive mm, and either. communicate sacred revelation. Mm, sacred revelation, man. What's the word revelation mean? Revealing. Revealing of what? The revealings of the mysteries, the deep dark sayings, the true wisdom of knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. Read that one more time, Baba Kasha, nice and slow. Alright. It's inspiration. A divine influence mm -hmm. or action on a person believed to qualify him or her to receive or communicate sacred revelation. Mm -hmm. And that was only given to what? The elect, a.k.a. the servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord, which the Lord's willing to be those men. And we keep enduring to being those men. And starting off with our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and we got those revelations from Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, that's why we have the scriptures today. You know, in one book, because the Bible go back to the uh, Latin Diab uh, not Diablos, Biblios, which mean in books or Saparium in the Hebrew. You know, so all the the, uh, the the testimonies and records was written in one book. You know, so um, that, yeah, that that was that was that was that was um, that was that was, uh, that, was, that, was uh, that was that was cut right there, man. That was that was deep right there, the spirit. All right. 
Huh? Great definition, uh, brother. Huh? Uh, you wanted uh, Isaiah 34 16 now? Baba Kasha. All right. It's Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. All right. Seek out the seek out of the book of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha and read. Exactly. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. The word of seek meaning to uh, uh, attempt to find. What are we attempting to find in, as we're uh, studying the scriptures? The true understanding of what we're reading, man. You know, because that's what the word read meaning. Read meaning and understanding. So, attempt to find the wisdom and knowledge of the Bible and read, which meaning to understand. You know, and uh, the book of the Lord is what the scriptures, this Bible, man. You know? Which has to be taught through you by men. The true men of the Lord, which uh, those men are starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Read on, Bible Kasha. <clears throat> no one of these shall fail. No one of these shall no. fail. That's talking about the prophecies, man. The prophecies that Yahweh Shema Shah said that's going to happen in these last days of the last days are going to happen, man. And they're happening. You know? Read on, Bible Kasha. None shall want her mate. Exactly. See, none shall want her mate, which means you can't mate any other book with this Bible, man. You can't ba you can't mate the Quran, the Book of the Dead, uh, the Book of Mormons, uh, 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 well, what else? Um, the Dead Sea Dead Scrolls. Sea Scrolls. Yup, yup. The Dead Sea Scrolls. The forty, the forty-two negative laws of Minyat. You know, uh, you can't mate any other book with this Bible. This Bible is the it stands alone, man, because it was given by the inspiration of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know? Read on, Baba Kasha. For my mouth, it have commanded, mm -hmm. and his spirit, it have gathered them. And what's the mouth of the Lord? The prophets, man. You know, and they're going to speak according to the Bible, man. The words of the Lord. You know? And, and his spirit have gathered them, which is the, uh, the truth, man. So this truth of the Bible have gathered them. Who is the them? The, the elect. Which we're hoping to be. Do the spirit by Yahweh by Shema Shah. And they're going to endure until the end. You know. This brotherhood. This ministry. This ministry was given. In. Um, how should I say. Given and. Um, gathered by. Yahweh by Shema Shah. Who the world even calls God and Jesus Christ. For the Israelites. Which consists of the so-called Negroes. Latinos. And Native American Indians. And the Israelite foreigners. According to the seed of their fathers. Um, can you hold me 2 Timothy 4 and 2, Baba Kasha? Oh, Amen. Say 4 and what again? 4 and 2, I believe. Alright, yeah. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Mm -hmm. Preach the word. Yep. It's the in season, out of season. See? Preach the word. What word are we supposed to be preaching? This Bible, the 611 King James Holy Bible, man. You know? That's the word that we're supposed to be preaching. Proclaiming, exalting our voices according to, right? And it says, be instant in season and out of season, man. Whether it's warm, whether it's hot, or whether it's cold, or whether it's a uh, uh, brick cold, man. We're supposed to go out down the highways and hedges, you know what I'm saying? And make these videos, man. You know, for to edify and build up the, uh, the elect, you know, which we're hoping to be. Read on, Baba Kasha. Reprove, mm -hmm. rebuke, yep. ex- Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Exactly, man. That's what we do, man. We reprove our people, we rebuke our people, which means to strongly correct, and we exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, man. Which the word exhort means to encourage. How do we encourage our people and exhort our people with the scriptures, with the words of the Lord? Because this is the comforter, man. That Yahweh, that Lord Yahweh Shah said. That he was going to leave, man. Because he is that. Uh, he is the ultimately the knowledge and wisdom and understanding that we have comes from Lo Yahweh Shai, which uh, was, was was passed down through men to teach other men that was uh, chosen to get it. You know. Yes. Yeah, the definition of exhort. Oh, come on, Shai, bring out the definitions. Bring them out. To excite by argument mm. or advice. See. Urge to, strongly. Yep. See to encourage strongly. By by excitement, by excitement of what of this truth, of the Bible, man, you know, to encouragement, you know. You got some more on that. Um, yeah, to give warning or advice, mm. urgent appeals. Yep. See, to give warning or advice, man. We give our people warning according to the Bible, right? You know. 
We tell our people to go out there. We go out there on the highways and hedges. We tell our people to repent before they get destroyed, right? According to the Bible. You know? Yeah, more, brother. Um, yeah, just a few synonyms. Right, come, come on, bring them out, brother. Bring them um, out. To hang on, to urge, to prompt, to nudge. Mm. Encourage. Yep. You said the nourish? Uh, yeah, to nudge, like mm. push somebody. Yep, come on, come on, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, see, with the scriptures. You know, with the scriptures. As a matter of fact, that's scriptural. Uh, I forgot, I forgot where it's really, where it's at, but hey, you know, we pretty much uh, push each other, you know what I'm saying, to, um, to keep pushing this word. That was it on that? Yeah. Uh, can you hold me Ephesians 3 and 4, Baba Kasha? Uh -huh. And then the, and the last precept we're going to bring out is Romans 15 and 4. So Ephesians 3 and 4? Baba Kasha. Uh -huh. It's Ephesians chapter 3, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Which in other ages was not made known unto the Son of Men, as it was now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Exactly. See? You know? Um, read that one more time, Bible Kasha. This is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Oh, I read the wrong one. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of figured that. Yeah. Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Yahweh. I mean, in the mystery of Yahweh Mashiach. Exactly. See, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has to give you. The, uh, the knowledge and wisdom and understanding in order for you to understand the knowledge of the Lord, man. You know? That's why uh, we pray before... That's why you're supposed to pray before you read. Pray before you watch videos. You know? So that way that we can understand, you know what I'm saying, what we're, uh, what we're reading. You know what I'm saying? When we go back and review what we learn, you know what I'm saying, we're supposed to, um, supposed to uh, remember what we read or what we understand according to the scriptures. You know? So now the last precept we can bring out is the book of uh, Romans 15 and 4, Bible Kasha. Uh, this is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever things were written a four time right. were written for our learning. Exactly. See, the things that was written a four time was written for our learning. And what was the thing that was written a four our time in this in these times? The scriptures, man, the sixteen eleven King James Holy Bible. So the things that was written before our time, which is this Bible, was written for our learning. Who was that our? The Israelites. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians and your Israelite foreigners according to the seed of your fathers, man. You know, this Bible was written for our learning, the Israelites. Read on Bible Kasha. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right, do we, which is the nation of Israel, you know, or the elect of the nation of Israel, uh, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. The word hope is synonymous with the word faith, man. So we have faith in what the scripture says, and we have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, that he's going to uh, 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 fulfill, you know what I'm saying, or um, to, uh, uh, to keep his promise, man, that he made, which was to come back and deliver the elect, destroy the two-thirds and these other regular everyday heathens, Destroy this place and put the elites that run the society ahead first into slavery, man. You know? We have faith and we believe that, and that's according to the Bible. You know, the Bible that we firmly believe in and that we speak according to. You know? Which are aka the words of the Lord. You got anything else, brother? Oh, that was all. Alright, con, con. So, hey, with that, you know, Lord, well, this video was edifying for Yaakim's that's out there to the, that's watching through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. Once again, this is the GMS Raleigh uh, collaboration once again through the spirit. You know, before we close out, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Bahashem. Rachakwadash. Khan. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Wa Shalawam, Labakarian, Wa Barakim, Shayashirala, 
which meaning and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. And until next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.